As many of you know, since August of 2022, our city has responded to the arrival of approximately 8,000 asylum seekers, individuals and families uh, coming to Chicago, most after being inhumanely and dangerously bused here by Texas Governor Greg Abbott. This was done with little advance notice, no coordination, and simply no consideration for our ability to receive these arrivals in a safe, orderly, and dignified way. Last week, I sent a letter to Governor Abbott when we learned that he may be sending more migrants to our city via bus uh, to try to reason and explain to him that yes, of course, we are a welcoming city and we will always do what is right by our immigrant and refugee communities, but we've reached a breaking point in our response to this humanitarian crisis, primarily manufactured by him for cynical political purposes. As expected, this letter, my letter was written in vain. And today we responded to the arrival of 48 more individuals and families that required emergency support and shelter, shipped here by Governor Abbott from Texas. As sympathetic as we are to the significant challenges that border cities um, face now and have been facing for quite some time, Chicago simply does not have the infrastructure or resources to continue and mainly providing for migrants. Both um, our pre-existing facilities and newly created facilities are full. I explained this to the governor um, who ignored this reality, all to burnish his right-wing credentials as he fades into irrelevancy um, with the upcoming presidential cycle. Hundreds of migrants are temporarily staying in police stations while they await more appropriate housing. This crisis is not only exhausting our city's resources, but it's flat out dangerous for the individuals and families who have been wrapped up in this political stunt. Sadly, we don't expect the buses to stop arriving anytime soon. And importantly, we've seen in the last couple of weeks a new surge in migrants coming to Chicago on a daily basis. And that is why today um, I have issued a declaration of emergency to bolster our response to the arrival of the migrants. This declaration empowers the city's chief procurement officer to exercise the purchasing authority set forth in the municipal code to adequately address this declared emergency. It also directs all city departments to undertake whatever efforts are feasible and necessary pursuant to their powers to assist in the management of this declared emergency. We shouldn't have to come to this point, but here we are. And even in my final days as mayor, it's important for us to step up and respond to this burgeoning crisis.